Crypto lender Nexo says it's leaving the U.S. Cites regulatory dead end. Well, if we haven't told you once, I guess we haven't told you a million times, get your keys into cold storage. That's it. Take your Bitcoin, take them into cold storage. It's as simple as that. Self-custody, as, as Nico Jones, Opti, Simply Bitcoin say, that is the revolution. This is the peaceful revolution. Taking your assets, your own private property, and putting them into your own storage, into your own bank. That's it. That is the game plan. It's a peaceful revolution. Simple. Done. That's it. Why, so why is this happening? What, what is going on? So they're uh, getting a, uh, they're into a dead end with regulatory. Why, why is that? This constantly keeps coming up because they're earning a yield. They're offering yield. How, how are they getting yield on these products? Just like all these other ones like we see down here. The firm Nexo is the last major crypto lending platform functioning as competitors like BlockFi, Dunzo, Celsius, Dunzo, and Voyager have all, fangle, have all filed for Banker Street protection. That's why. Because they're all getting yield, swapping Peter, you know, Peter to pay Paul, this pocket out of that pocket, and they're all using you know leverage positions and things like that, building up their own tokens, and then it's just an absolute joke. You know, call, call it a Ponzi, if you will, right? I mean, this is why this is happening. And when you own Bitcoin, when you own the hardest asset in the world, all these other exchanges, scam coins, altcoins, they don't, you don't need that. People are trying to get like alpha on Bitcoin. You don't need that. When Bitcoin on average has gone up 50, 100, 200% a year, why would you need to make an extra 6%? You're taking all the risk. And what, just to make an extra couple percent? I mean, it's absolutely bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers. And you have the hardest money in the world that you can control. No one can dilute it. No one can take it from you. It's permissionless, trustless, meaning no one can tell you what to do or who you can or can't send it to. No one can take it out. It's final settlement. There's no reversals. Nothing. Nothing. And yet people continue to play in these, in these worlds, which I get it because, you know, two things. One, people don't do their own homework, do their own due diligence. They got people like Tom Brady, Matt Damon out there out there uh, in these huge marketing departments at all these software companies, Nexo and all these altcoins, because that's all they are, tech companies or software companies, or at the very most, at very best. And they're using all the money that they're raising to then go pile on more advertising to get more and more unsuspecting people into their system. Hence the term Ponzi. It's just more and more people, last, you know, you, the last person in, shut the lights out, right? <laughs> last person out, shut the lights out. I mean, it's, it's the, um, that's the game. And that's how this has been going down. This is why these have all been imploding. And they're all doing things with each other, not to mention all the nefarious stuff going on. I mean, whether it was just outright frauds or of laundering of money and things like that. And some of these, you know, we're not even going to go down those rabbit holes in this one. My point with this is just to say, guys, this is going to continue happening. When I was in, in LA three weeks ago, we were at Swan Bitcoin's event in Pacific Bitcoin. And we were hearing about Nexo. FTX had just blown up that week. And we were hearing about Nexo and uh, Crypto.com and some of these others that were on the chopping block. It was like, okay, if this contagion is going to keep going, this knock, knock, knock on effect, this is going to keep happening. Take it out. And now, again, this is why. So you got to read between the lines. We have to triangulate truth, as we always say. The reason that they're at a dead end and they're going offshore now is because the regulators here in the U.S. are like, again, and I'm not a big fan of regulators, but it's just, they're just like, uh, yeah, you're a security and stuff. Like, you're, what are you doing here? Like, you, you guys can't even... You guys don't even understand, like, you can't explain what you're doing here. So, like, yeah, you can't operate here in, in America. <laughs> it's, I mean, long story short, I'm trying to, I mean, it's just layman's terms, right? I, I'm not, I'm not a, a rocket scientist. I'm not Michael Saylor. I'm not Peter Diamandis. I don't have a, a, a rocket scientist mind. Um, so we're going to try to put things in a third grade terms because that's the that average reading level is third grade. And we're going to try to Donald Trump it for you here into a third grade re reading level. Uh, they basically said, yeah, the, what you're doing here is illegal and you need to move. You need to get out. And that's what they're doing. So that's the uh, layman's terms of like 10 paragraphs. That's basically what's happening. And that's what would have happened with all these other ones. Just the speed of what was going on. These regulators couldn't catch up with what was going on. And that's why they are leaving. So again, this is, it's just so frustrating. So they're earned product. Um, you know, so in theory, replicates a bank account with higher rates of return. But the SEC has taken issue with similar products, including the $100 million fine against BlockFi, the Nexo cited in its position, blah, 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 whatever. So again, they a large a lot of their operations are in Bulgaria, and they announced they would no longer pay interest on earned deposits from the US earlier this year. So again, this is why, and again, I, I read something elsewhere, actually, I thought it was in here, but that they, they were moving their entire operations, maybe not, maybe they're moving, moving the earned part of it out, because that is the, the uh, if you're passing the Howey test, if you look that up, obviously, 
that's what's going on here. Obviously, there people are expecting a return. They're putting in their money like a bank, but to, to my knowledge, they're not regulated like a bank. So that's the problem. That's what's going on here. That's why regulators are like, whoa, 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 what's going on? So anyway, that is the petition I have to you, which is get the hardest money on the world. This is not financial advice. It's just freedom advice, as I like to say. Get your own self-sovereign assets. And that could be many things. It doesn't have to do just Bitcoin. It could be your own security, food, energy, water, and become as independent, resilient, you know, gold, silver, Bitcoin, all these independent things that make you independent, make you resilient. You can weather anything, whether man-made storms, like a lot of things we're going to face here going forward, just like the winter Europe's having and about to have, our own man-made problems we cause for ourselves, or acts of God, you know, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, solar flares, like things that could happen, have happened many times in the past and will happen again. This is what we need to be prepared for. You know, every every person has a, a duty to their family to, to do that, to protect themselves and become independent, resilient. And again, my thing in wrapping up this video, my biggest uh, qualm, I think, with the society is we've had it so good, and we've all had it, uh, me included, that we don't even realize how weak we are at many points in our lives. And we just, you know, it's like the old adage of like, we just think food comes from the grocery store, you know, especially here in America, our developing worlds. And we have no idea the process that goes into it and where things actually come from. Unfortunately, I got to grow up hunting my entire life and I don't get to do as much of it anymore as I'd like. It just, it, it just, just growing family and things like that. But that is the, the, the crux of, of the problems here. We just take things for granted, which is kind of the cycles of life. And we, we're going to start learning these lessons. Moral of the story, though, is I don't want us to have to learn these lessons. Again, I have family. I have friends. I don't want people to be hurt. I want truth to be exposed. I want questions to be asked. And I'm not an investigative journalist. I'm not, I don't have all the answers. I'm not a deity by any means. By any means, obviously. That's, that's not what I'm saying. It's asking the questions. It's putting two and two together. It's fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me a hundred times, shame on me. How many times are we going to elect politicians or elect people to lead us that are just in it for themselves? That are going to give us things. Every time someone gives you something or the government gives you something, you lose freedom. You lose liberty. And eventually you're the frog in the boiling pot. And then eventually one day you look up and you realize you are dead. You were in the pot the entire time trading, trading freedom for some security, for some convenience, for some ease. And you destroyed yourself. You destroyed your empire. And again, at the end of the day, I know I said I'll wrap this up already, but the empires of the past done the same things we are doing now. We have the roadmaps laid out. The Roman Empire, Spanish, Portuguese, you know, British, like all these empires have done the same things that we are doing now. And we continually love to like relearn lessons over again. I, I don't know why that is. I beg of you, please, let's do some diligence together as we're continue doing here and, and going through these things and asking questions and trying to find truth and trying to connect dots so we can better prepare ourselves for what's coming in the world. Appreciate you. Appreciate your time, your energy. It's the most important asset we have. Really, really appreciate it. Please go, uh, the video we are, um, just posted as well about SBF and, and who he's testifying in front of and the weird connections that uh, that he has with the person he's testifying in front of in Congress. It's, it's just clone one. And again, asking questions. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Get your stuff out of cold, or get your stuff out of exchanges, off exchanges. Get it into cold storage. Get it into your own custody that you control. That is my plea in wrapping this up. Please, please go do that. See you on the next one.